Hi folks, Ron Ray here, Returning 65 Solutions. Now you may have seen in the news in the last couple of days, today is uh, June the 7th, 2018, that the new uh, Social Security Trustees report came out and it said that Medicare is going broke two years earlier than previously thought. And what that means is that uh, if nothing has changed, if they stay on the course that they're on, uh, Congress doesn't do anything to fix a problem, that they will be insolvent in the year 2029, which is a, a, about two or three years uh, sooner than they thought. So what does this mean to you? It means that you should watch out for your Medicare premiums and out-of-pocket costs to start going up. Um, now, they've gone up uh, a little bit in uh, the past year. Uh, your, your premiums went up to 134 and your Medicare Part B deductible went up to 183 Some of the Part A deductibles and co-pays went up as well. So if we just take a look at, I've got a, a couple of articles pulled up here and uh, they sound really scary, but what's the, the, um, the important thing to know is that I don't think we have to panic. Now, this is a, a target that's been out there. They, they've been telling us for years that both Social Security and Medicare are in trouble. And if we don't do something, meaning Congress, if we don't do something about it, then they're going to go broke. Now, that doesn't mean that your benefits are going to end suddenly. One day you're going to have Medicare and the next day you don't. All it means is that uh, they're not going to be paying as much as they used to. Same thing goes for Social Security. You're not going to stop getting your Social Security check. It just means that in the year 2033 or 2034, when it does go finally insolvent, they are just allowed to reduce your benefits by 25%. So you're going to take a 25% pay cut, which is a big pay cut, but you're still going to be getting some benefits. Now, I think that Congress will probably act, but you never know. They are Congress and uh, they don't always do the right thing. But uh, I'm not here to talk politics. Let's just get into some facts. Now, this is the Kaiser Health News. This is, seems to be a pretty uh, objective news source for health care. And I just want to point out a couple of things. It's really towards the end of the article. And um, here, right here, this is according to the people testifying uh, before Congress. Tom Price, the Health and Human, Resource, health and Human Services Secretary and and uh, Steve Mnuchin, the, the Treasury Secretary, says right here, Medicare Part B premiums uh, should remain stable next year. Uh, and uh, now they only, those premiums that you pay really only represent about 25% of the total cost of Medicare Part B and the other 75% is made up out of the federal budget. But uh, you should probably expect those to start creeping up just a little bit. They've been kind of phasing in some increases in that Part B premium, uh, especially as you get a cost of living increase in your Social Security, your Part B premiums will almost certainly go up as well. So they give you a little bit on one side and they take it back on the other side. So that is just kind of a quick rundown of what's going to happen. Now, again, we don't need to panic. You're not going to lose Medicare. You're still going to have it. You might just pay a little bit more for it. We'll know those numbers somewhere around late October or when those Medicare premiums usually come out and are announced by, by the, the, the service. So here's what you need to, to kind of prepare for. Even though these out-of-pocket costs and these premiums are going up, if you have a good Medicare supplement, like say, uh, I don't know, a Plan F, or a Plan G or a Plan N or one of these, these good Medicare supplements that simply supplements Medicare. So Medicare pays first and then your Medicare supplement pays uh, your share or a portion of your share, then you really don't have much to worry about because the Medicare supplement is going to pay these increases. Now, in the case of a Plan F, it just pays everything. So whatever Medicare doesn't pay uh, your share, the Plan F pays it for you. So you're not going to notice any of these changes except in that Part B premium. Now, if you have something like a Plan G and the Plan G doesn't pay the, the uh, Medicare Part B premium, which is of 2018 when we're making this video, is $183. So let's say next year that Part B premium went up to $200. Well, 
well, you would pay that increase. But of course, a plan G is more economical than a plan F because the premiums are lower. So when we do those calculations, usually three or $400 a year less, but you're only paying 183 out of pocket. So it ends up saving you uh, a net saving. So that's kind of what we do here. We educate people on Medicare and their choices and the, the different supplements and types of insurance that are out there, how Medicare works, what it does for you, what it doesn't do for you. If you ever have any questions about this, just give us a call. The number is 800-515-4031, or you can reach out to us on the web. It's, it's uh, www.t65s.com, uh, or shoot us an email, comment in the comment section of this video. I'll leave links in the, in the notes section of the video. And until next time, take care.